Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out a new show. This is Detectorist. It won on the poll. I'm not sure why I said that. Of course it won on the poll because we're watching it. And I didn't think this was going to win. I thought Green Wing, Wing was going to win because it did so well on the poll the previous week and the week before that and stuff. And it was always like the, say the runner-up or the second to runner-up. That and another show, I think the school show, I can't remember what it was, Bad Education. That one was always pretty close as well. Thought it was between those two, but most likely Green Wing. But I know the Detectorist hasn't been on here because it was recommended to be put on a poll and I forgot the last time but I remember this time to put on there and I remember there being some, a conversation around the show I can't remember exactly there's multiple things people said about this but one of them I remember people saying it might not be a good reaction because a lot of the humor is subtle and it's not like laugh out loud type stuff so it might not be like the best thing to react to and I mean I still think it'd be okay if it's not like laugh out loud type stuff it doesn't necessarily have to be I, I feel like Afterlife was a decent show that had some like laugh out loud moments, but most of it was just a, some chuckles here and there. And there's been a, quite a few shows that have been like that, where it's just a chuckle here and there, and then some laugh out loud moments. I, I still think this one will be okay. And I'm all right with it. I don't know anything about it going into it. At least from the cover, they have metal detectors. So it looks like they're just going to be going out, maybe exploring, looking for stuff. And I know the guy from Pirates of the Caribbean is in this one with like the wonky eye that hung out with his buddy all the time. They're always they like, partnered together in the movie. And I can't think of anything else I've ever seen him in. I think that's, I'm pretty sure it's him. And then the other guy, he was the bad guy in the Marvel movies. He played one of the Hydra guys. I think he was like a Hydra scientist. And I can't think of anything else I've seen him in. But yeah, so I know both of them from those roles. And I can't think of anything else. That's really about it. I, this might be posted a little bit late. It's going to be late because I got a late start. I was an optometrist longer than I expected. I was in a line waiting on the jazz to pick up my glasses. They finally came in. I had to get my eye checked out. Well, my eyes, I say eye. Took a little bit to get my glasses. I wear glasses now. Should have had them for a long time. Didn't realize it because I'm a goofball. Until I put them on and how clear things were. Like, oh, it's crazy. But yeah, man, I'm ready to jump into this. Let's just go to jump into it. We'll talk about it more at the end. No bottle cap? No Ring bottle cap. Pull? Yeah. 83. Tizer. Not ring pull. I was gonna say. What you do with them? Bag them up. Yeah, stick them on eBay. People buy this shit. Oh really? I don't know. That. Sad tits. You said it. <laughs> Didn't say anything. Chickened out. Were you on your own? Yeah. But you were still too scared to say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't count. I know. Should have gone for it. I think I'll give that a miss. Here. I ever tell you about the beautiful old battle axe I once found? Yeah, you I married, married her. her. Have I done that one for you before? Manager of Pizza Hut. Yeah, <laughs> mental. Dang, she dude. Was a hippie, you know. Into crystals and all that shit. Used to wear vanilla perfume. Oh, yeah. Stank like Play-Doh. Heads up, who's this? <laughs> metal detector. We are metal detectorists. Oh, right, sorry. Not a problem at all. I'm Sophie. Pleased to meet you, Sophie. I'm Lance, and uh, this is... Uh, Andy. Worth a few quid on the interweb. Won't do it, mate. Idiot. Why not? I don't sell my finds. I don't agree with it. He must have half a ton of scrap round at his place. Hope you're up to date with your tetanus, mate. Yeah. How long has it made? Long time, but I'll get there. And when I'm a qualified archaeologist, that's when I get to see the good stuff. Bone. Bits of pot. Swap his detector for a pallet knife and spend the rest of his life scraping the dirt off dirt. No thank you. Show me to the non-ferrous metals, mate. Do you guys belong to a club? The MDC. So they don't know what that is. Danbury Metal Detecting Club. In the Scout Hall, opposite the two brewers on the high street. Yeah, the girl's coming. Bye. Bye, Sophie. This is awesome. Yeah. They look sad and worried at the same time. The two brewers? Yeah. The pub on the corner of our road? Yeah. Oh, nice. Sorry, I should have phoned. Might have been nice. I was with Lance. I didn't think you'd want to hang out with Lance. You think he's a bit of a dick? 
I think you're a bit of a dick as well, but I hang out with you. Wait, you all right? You pissed off with me detecting? No, I don't mind. If you enjoy it, if it's helping towards your studies. I need to find a new place to search. All we turn up these days is literally... Uh, I'll set up my school. You can go and dig holes. Can I come? No. I did find a good penny. Young Victoria, 1865. Mm. Shut up. That's <laughs> been in the ground 150 years. Imagine who dropped that a century and a half ago. Oh, yeah, brilliant. You cow. Can you see anything? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful things. <laughs> He's not gonna try to flirt with that girl, is he? He's a nice supportive old woman at home. He didn't care about the, those buttons at all. Because that girl was asking around. Isn't she seem just a college shoe? Making weird faces though. Like I can't really read them. I mean, they're trying to just get people interested in the club. Hello, love. You've got a record player or? Tony's got one. Really nice vintage one. Oh, good. Love. He's here, actually. You should say hello. Oh, you're all right, because... Tony! Lance is here! Uh... She comes, buddy. <laughs> hello, mate. On time, no see. Yep. Oh, uh, I don't know. What have you got? I like bergamot and vetiver. Hmm. Oh, just a vanilla. Oh, they smell like mini caps. 375. Do you want your change? Cheers, mate. I thought for a second he might keep it because he messes her up. You know he hates the smell of vanilla. Point then, will we? He is extremely Now, come on, mine. I'll knock you up a ruby and we're going to head over it together. Anything you don't eat? Yeah, apart from meat and fish. OK, hold on. What's happening in the club tonight? <laughs> Buttons. You heard me. Do you want to come? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Uh. All right, I love you. See you later. Yeah, you too. See you later. What is that, buttons? Aggressive buttons. That was wild, April. He did say he's making curry. Nice tits. I thank you. Something smells delicious. No, something just smells <laughs> very droll. Dunlop SP two four four, isn't it? What? So, ring-shaped feature in the field. Okay. Iron Age roundhouse. Hmm? But wait, there's more. Has a some sort of entrance leading to an enclosure, a gateway, all in a line. Iron Age settlement. Wait for them to show us. Iron Age settlement. Look at it, right? G O O. Oh, Google. Oh, he's goofy. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Do they seem to spell Google? Fuck it. You prick. It's the Google Earth watermark. It's the Google Earth watermark. Well, I bet you've fallen for that before. Yeah, but I realised within 15 seconds and I never told anyone. <laughs> no, look, tell you where we want to be. I've been doing my own recon. Look, this farm here. Saxon Horde. Oh, it's basically the Holy Grail of treasure hunting. Well, no, the Holy Grail is the Holy Grail of treasure hunting. Well, if you're going to be pedantic, the Ark of the Covenant is the Holy Grail. Let's talk to Terry. And I mean the vast majority, as you've seen from my slides, <laughs> are completely featureless. And so, if you think about the number of buttons our predecessors had on their clothes compared with the number of... One so the humble, it. boring button is a very real piece of social history. Lights, please, Sheila. She's like nobody. Right over then. <clears throat> Club no, notices. Show now, some of you have been complaining about other detecting clubs muscling in on your sites. Yes, it's those wankers from the antiquity searchers. They're spying on us. I will not be accepting any new members 
until the beginning of next season. Hello, is this the Metal Detecting Club? Hello, Sophie. Everybody, this is my friend Sophie. Welcome, Sophie. You are very welcome. <laughs> I'm afraid you just missed my talk about buttons, but um, I'll very happily do a recap. No. Please, no. no. That's okay, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no. if we are all in agreement, welcome, Sophie. Thank you. Don't stop staring at this girl. Dude, she's staring. What do you think? Yeah, it was interesting. Uses. Doesn't want people digging around on his land. Very old character. Something. Yeah? Yeah, his wife disappeared years back. Uh, yeah. Back when I was on the force. I wasn't involved in the case personally, but I know they had a very big file on him. What are you studying? Uh, ancient history? Oh, well. Yeah. You've been in the right place. <laughs> you want to get yourself a detector and get out there in the mud? Yeah, I'll, I'll take you out if you like. Oh, that'd be good. Someone text me. When are you going out next? Saturday. Oh, well, I can't do Saturday. I'm taking... I like doing it. Bollocks, mate. You want to forget her, or otherwise you'll keep on taking the piss. Move on. Well, cheers for the advice, mate, that I neither asked for nor wanted. Mind your own bloody business. What about you, Andy? Have you got a wife? <laughs> me, no. No, I'm, I'm not married. I... Uh, Oh, shall I get another one in? Uh, it's my round today. Tango class in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's tap. No, Tomorrow, no. Terry. <laughs> yeah, of course, it's Wednesday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye, all. Bye, bye. See you later. What were you saying before they left? Uh, your ex-wife taking the piss. No. Uh, something about the same again. Same again? Yeah, thanks very much. I don't fancy Fiona Bruce. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, I don't. I <laughs> just tried once. Guilty. Thought she'd be a good person off the TV to fancy, but couldn't manage it. Didn't get very far. <laughs> Who do you fancy off the telly, then? No one springs to mind. But what? Sorry, I forgot. Jesus, you spend more time with him than you do with me. No, I don't. And what time are you going? For lunch. Oh, we'll probably be finished by then. Anyway, we're just going to see some mad landowner, try and get his permission. Did you hear that He's on QI last night? Dude. Oh, I knew it before it was on QI. Right. So it's just a coincidence that you said it the day after it was on QI. Just reminded me of it, that's all. Here we are. You think this is wise? Tell you what, let me do the talking. I'll turn on the charm. You're just a bit awkward. Yeah, cheers. Back in there. Get down. The girl's Stay coming back along. in there. I'm miss her, yes? Oh, sorry to disturb you, sir. Have you come about the... 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 What have you come about? Detect on your land. Good Lord, was it a competition? Pardon? Did I send off for it? Did you see, yeah. No, I guess it's just your lucky day. Fascinating. <laughs> Cup of tea? Never mind the dogs, they're a bit boisterous, but they're only being friendly. Killed his wife, maybe. Oh, you're done right there. So, Mr. Bishop. Larry, please. Larry, you've never given anyone permission before? No, never. So, stay out of the paddock on Birchwood Road. Don't go digging down there. Okie doke. Well, I feel like they're going to start... Will we'll stay out of that. He's going to start shooting. Anyone seen my phone? Bloody dogs have been there, haven't they? Off. This lot have left all to us. This time next year, we're going to be millionaires. <laughs> wait. Wait, we should do this properly. Mark out the site with a grid system, do it area by area, make sure we cover everything. Sort that. Let's get detecting. Get ready to get rich. This is going to be poor tab. What you got? Biscuit wrapper. <laughs> By count, 75.
right, man. I thought that was a pretty good start to the series, man. Got to know all the characters a little bit. I really wonder if old girl and him going to end up having an affair or something. He's going to screw up his relationship because he didn't tell her that he had a girlfriend. I get he got cut off a little bit, but he still could have been like, but I have a girlfriend. You don't answer a question that way unless you're trying to hide something. If somebody says, do you have a wife? Yeah, not not a wife, but a girlfriend. But you say it like that, but he just like he intentionally was trying to hide something. And maybe if he had time and he didn't get cut off, he would have said it. But I just don't know for sure in this moment. And he's already been acting guilty when his girlfriend's like making those type of like innocent jokes. Where if you feel like secure and not and you're not going to cheat and that kind of stuff, you'll be making those type of jokes back. Like, yeah, blah, 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 that type of stuff. Especially if um your girl is known for just joking with you like that. And it seems like that's what they do because like... Whenever she's on TV, he makes jokes about her, what she's wearing and stuff. So they're comfortable enough in their relationship where he's allowed to make jokes about somebody, look, a woman looking attractive on TV. And now he's acting all weird about it. Like He has a guilty conscience because he's attracted to this other lady. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's going to come back and just bite him in the butt and it's stupid of him. It's just he's so goofy. Yeah, he, he has a good thing at home. We, we, I've only had one episode of exposure to her. But she seems pretty laid back. She's funny and all that stuff and... She supports his hobby. She might call him out like, hey, man, you hang out just do more to me, but also still lets him do it. It's not like she's controlling him, his hobby or nothing. So I, d I don't know. Maybe there's more to her that, we're, that I'm, I'm missing once we get into the series and they reveal more about the character. And then I'm like, okay, that's why he's that way. But for the moment, from what I've been exposed to from the character, she seems like a stand-up lady and he just thinks the grass is greener. People just tend to do that because it's human nature. So I don't know. I see that happen. I think he's going to screw up his relationship. Maybe, maybe not, but I feel like that's going to probably happen over this girl. Then, oh boy, we, got, uh, we see that he's still chasing off his ex-wife. He still She cheated on him with the Pizza Hut manager guy. Wouldn't even let him have a moment with her because she knows why he's there. And I get if he was just being like a weirdo, showing about a nowhere, and she wants him out of her life. That'd be different. That's why I kind of, I thought the situation was, and that's how she was calling old boy out. Like, hey, Tony's here if you want to say hi to him type of thing. And I thought that's why, like, okay, he's been a weirdo. He won't leave me alone. Our relationship was over. Why can't he just accept that? But no, you have this dude driving your mom and stuff around, bro. You have him doing all, like, the, like, husbandly or boyfriend task type stuff while your boyfriend, your new boyfriend, is, like, sitting on the sidelines getting, you know, he gets to have his cake and eat it, too. He gets to do all the fun stuff. Take you to the movies. Take you to nice dates. Do the grown-up activities in the bedroom. Why? I have to do all the menial tasks. Take your mother to doctor's appointments and do all that stuff with the hopes that you'll take me back. That's crazy. Forget that, dude. No, get out of here. That's no way. Tony needs to do that because I did those things while we were together. Tony needs to do those things while you're together. And then let's see how long he sticks around when he has to actually do the relation, the stuff that comes with the relationship. Right now, he's been a bum. Tony's most likely been a bum. Uh, but who knows? But that's what it feels like. If you need me to still do all those things, Tony isn't holding up his end of the bargain. When it comes to being in a relationship, it all that comes with it. You don't just get to do the only the fun stuff, you know, that's crazy. Hopefully he's going to somewhere in the series. He's going to stand up and like not take that anymore. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Old girl, I guess she's going to be just oblivious. The college student and not know he's in a relationship and probably regret kissing him or something like that. And I'm guessing that's coming somewhere along the lines or maybe not. Maybe she's like, hey, dude, you twice my age. We're not doing this. Maybe uh, who knows? Or she end up might end up being like Oregon and be like, I like older guys eh, from a uh, fresh meat. We, we, we don't know. And now that they found this, they, the guys let them dig on the land and they found that, uh, was it was a, a biscuit wrapper? I'm guessing that shows that somebody's been there digging and he just doesn't remember because his, all his faculties aren't there. He doesn't remember a lot. He's going, his dogs, he thinks his dog's there, all this stuff's going on. And he just doesn't remember. He's let people there before. He just doesn't recall. And the land isn't untapped anymore. So I'm guessing they're not going there anymore after this. Maybe they'll be there in the next episode. It just feels like this just sets it that they're not going there anymore because they're finding rappers and stuff there. Uh, it'd be a waste of time to keep digging, maybe. I, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. But all around, I think I felt like this was a good start to everything. That's one thing that you guys are right. There weren't laugh out loud moments. There were just some snickers here and there. I still enjoyed the plot as it followed along. I enjoyed it a lot. I like the characters so far. Yeah. I like the pacing and everything of the show. I, I enjoyed this first episode. I thought it was a good introduction to the characters and stuff. And a good introduction to like the vibe and feel of the show. And you know how they spend their days and everything. Uh, so, yeah. I enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing more and what happens next. And if uh, this time next year there'll be millionaires like the old uh, <laughs> Only Fools and Horses. Maybe. Maybe it actually happened for them. I don't think so. But... 
maybe something good will happen for him. Like maybe he'll become an arche- archaeologist by the end or something. Maybe an old boy actually find a partner that cares about him. Uh, we're just getting started, but I don't know. A lot of these things don't actually end with happy endings. They end with either reasonable endings or realistic endings where things aren't so great. It's almost an area of gray or sometimes a a little bit better or just right where people started. So we'll see. All right, folks, that is it. Uh, That is all for this one. Um, Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.